Welcome to a Legal Talk here on E-Radio SA and today we'll be exploring a critical element of the new Electricity Amendment Act. We spoke about it last week, spoke to Marilyn Duplessis and we'll be talking about the market code today and the regulations around pricing. This is a major step in creating a competitive electricity market. So let's dive right in and joining us on the line is Hanan attorneys uh, Rainier Rotenbach. Renier, welcome back to Legal Talk. Nice to chat again. Thank you for having me and a good day to your listeners as well. So, what is this market code? Well, the market code is essentially a set of rules that will govern how electricity is bought and sold in South Africa. Think of it like the guidelines for the stock market. But instead of buying and selling shares, we're talking about electricity. Under the new act, ESCOM's role is changing and a new entity called the Transmission System Operator, TSO in brackets, as previously discussed by Marilyn, will oversee transmission while ensuring fair access to all market participants. This market code will be instrumental in defining how transactions occur, ensuring transparency and laying out the responsibilities for generators, suppliers, and even consumers who want to feed electricity back into the grid. Okay, and uh, Rainier, can you tell us about uh, the role of uh, pricing regulations? Yes, certainly. Pricing regulations is one of the most important components of this transition. So in a competitive market, pricing isn't fixed by a central authority, but rather determined by the supply and demand. The new market code aims to introduce a system where electricity prices fluctuate based on the market conditions. This is expected to foster competition among generators, including independent power producers, also known as IPPs, pushing them to be more efficient, efficient and competitive. However, this doesn't mean that it, it will be a free for all. The pricing mechanism will still be regulated to some extent by NARSA, being the Na- National Energy Regulator of South Africa. NARSA will ensure the prices are fair and that there's no price gouging, especially as new entrants come into the market and as consumers start to get the ability to choose their electricity provider. These regulations will also help maintain an affordable price for basic services while supporting the transition to renewable sources. Okay, and then finally, uh, Rainier, how does uh, this actually affect us? Well, the introduction of competitive pricing is expected to benefit consumers in the long term. By allowing multiple players to generate and sell electricity, there should be a downward pressure on prices, particularly as more renewable energy sources come online. It also opens the door for households and businesses to participate as prosumers, which is both producing and consuming electricity. An example is the generating of excess solar power and selling it back to the grid. I believe uh, this is happening in Cape Town. This is where the market code basically comes into play, creating the framework for how such transactions will work. However, it's important to remember that these changes won't happen overnight. Initially, there could be fluctuations in prices as the market adjusts and as investments are made in new infrastructure. The market code will help guide the process, creating an environment where all players, big or small, can compete on an even playing field. So let's see what the future holds. Rainier, thank you so much. Uh, Another interesting edition of uh, Legal Talk for uh, this week. Rainier uh, Rotenbach is an associate attorney at uh, Hahn & Hahn. Thanks so much. Uh, Thank you for having me.
are you or your business in trouble and struggling to find a solution? Call Hahn and Hahn Attorneys as we assist clients in finding solutions. We specialize in consumer and food law, commercial and construction law, forensic investigations, and administrative law. Visit hahnlaw.co.za. That's H A H N. We assist clients nationwide. Hahn and Hahn Attorneys, because we care.